Is buying a home a wise choice today? Let's talk about it. Um, yeah, I mean, in general terms, you know, the market itself is pretty flat right now. Um, the market's been flat for, I want to say, about eight to ten months. We've actually seen a decline in prices over that time. Uh, not huge. Nothing like the COVID spike that we got in the increase, but, you know, they've definitely come down. It's definitely a buyer's market right now. Um, now, the, the big question is timing. Um, because we have a lot of pent up buyer demand and a lot of buyers are waiting for something. Um, most of them that I've talked to and I, you know, I call them and ask them, Hey, what is it that you're, you know, uh, most of them talk, they're, they're waiting cause they, they feel there's going to be another rate cut, um, here in a couple of weeks. Uh, and they feel that's going to be beneficial to them. So let me tell you what I tell them when they ask me that, uh, or they say that to me, the way that mortgage lending works. And if you follow the trends, um, this last cut, the mortgage rates actually came down in anticipation of the cut over a span of a couple of weeks. And immediately after the cut took place, they popped up about, I don't know, they went from like 6.10 to 6.12 or something like that. Um, so you don't want to wait until they actually make the cut, right? Uh, we have an election coming up, which always, you know, adds stress to the to the buying or selling process or just living process, I guess, for anybody. Um, so that may be one of the things, although most people are saying that's not really their main trigger. It's more the rates. Um, what I do know is that there is going to be a switch that gets turned. And when it does, it, there's going to be a rush of buyers back to the market. Um, and they are going to uh, cause they're basically to there to be a mini a mini rush or whatever, and there'll be a little competition and stuff like that. Um, now we do have product out there. It's not like uh, you know pre-COVID when we had nothing, and then it turned into nothing again. You know, even less than nothing for you know the COVID years. Uh, you know, we have a decent amount of product out there, so there is stuff. But uh, the ideal time to buy, I suppose, would be somewhere between that trigger being pulled or that switch being uh, flipped. Uh, and today, now, when is that? Hmm, hard to say. Uh, it's going to be sometime in the next couple of months, though, because one of those two things, I think, will be that trigger. Um, what I'm telling them is that, you know, the rates are going to continue to to fall in anticipation of another cut because that's the way the Fed's kind of telegraphing it. And that's what people think. And they're waiting on that cut. Well, my uh, philosophy on that and my thoughts on that are I wouldn't wait for that to happen. Uh, I would go out and find what you're looking for now, negotiate it basically without a lot of competition, get it under contract um, in the next 45 days before you close, then that rate's going to do what it's going to do, right? Uh, you don't have to lock in your rate when you purchase. You can lock in your rate at any time, you know, up to you know, about four days before you close. Uh, so if that's what you're waiting on, and we already know we've got basically a 45-day you know, window for all those actions to occur, uh, I think it may be smart to get in right now uh, while there's not a lot of competition. Uh, why wait for everybody else to be making the same decision? But again, that's just my philosophy on it. Um, so anyways, uh, is it, oh, the other thing is that uh, there's, you know, there's always people, oh, the bottom's falling out, the sky's falling and all that sort of stuff. We get that constantly. We got that during COVID. We, you know, people have all, you know, the, there's a, the rich dad, poor dad guy. Uh, you know, he did really well with one prediction, I don't know, like 12 years ago or something. And uh, so far he hadn't really panned out since then, but he's always predicting doom and gloom because that's what helps him sell books and, you know, make money, whatever. Um, you know, could he be right? Of course he could. Anybody could be right at any time. Um, but the, my feeling is unless people decide that South Florida sucks and they don't want to be here, um, we're going to still see the same trend that we've seen year over year over year, um, regardless of hurricanes and things like that. And that is that people are still moving to South Florida in uh, pretty heavy numbers. And because people need somewhere to live, that's going to keep the market you know, pretty solid. Anyways, that's my thoughts on is it wise to buy a house in anywhere in South Florida, quite frankly. Um, I think it's still a pretty good bet, but, you know, that remains to be seen. Hey, if you enjoy questions from Chala, why don't you be a part of it? Let us know what you want to hear about, and Chala will ask me right here on live TV, kind of.